This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at gas chromatography. Gas chromatography is a technique used to separate and analyze volatile compounds in the gaseous state. Here we have a diagram of a gas chromatograph. The sample is injected into the gas chromatograph where it is vaporized and carried through the column by a carrier gas. The carrier gas, which is an inert gas such as helium or nitrogen, is known as the mobile phase. The vaporized sample is carried by the mobile phase over the stationary phase, which is in the column. The stationary phase is usually a long chain hydrocarbon supported on a silicon dioxide surface. The components of the vaporized sample pass through the column at different rates, depending on their affinities for the stationary phase or for the mobile phase. So these molecules on the left move more slowly through the column due to their higher affinity for the stationary phase. These molecules on the right move more quickly through the column due to their higher affinity for the mobile phase. The time taken for each component to pass through the column is known as the retention time. These molecules on the left with a greater affinity for the stationary phase will have a longer retention time and the molecules on the right with a greater affinity for the mobile phase will have a shorter retention time. Using gas chromatography, an unknown compound can be identified by comparing its retention time with that of a known compound. Gas chromatography can be combined with mass spectroscopy to detect the presence of steroids in urine samples of athletes. Here we have an example of a mass spectrum produced using this technique. From the mass spectrum, we can identify the molecular ion peak with a mass to charge ratio of 274. This indicates the presence of nandrolone in the sample, which has a molar mass of 274 grams per mole. As we can see from its structure, it has a steroid backbone, which is composed of four fused hydrocarbon rings. Esters of nandrolone are used by athletes as performance-enhancing drugs.